hi guys welcome back to my channel Shauna here so happy Mother's Day guys to all the mothers that's watching my video comment down below what you did for Mother's Day for me for Mother's Day oh my Mother's Day was jam-packed between trying to get all the sales the Mother's Day sale and my mother's birthday is actually the Monday after Mother's Day so me and my mom went out I actually worked on Mother's Day so shout out to all the working moms and Mother's Day I worked Mother's Day it was an okay day at work but before Mother's Day and after Mother's Day I had like the fantastic week you're gonna see this video is like jam-packed with fragrances I just recently did my fragrance um, collection videos um, I'll like link them down below if you haven't seen those and I told myself in that video, like, you got to cut this out. You have way too much fragrances. Did I learn my lessons? No. But to be honest, to be honest, my family, my friends, they really spoil me. So they know, like, I love handbags and I love fragrances. And I usually get those as gifts. And I got a ton load of fragrances as gifts this year, particularly from... Oh, hands down, bar none, my favorite person in the world, aside from my daughter, of course, um, Harry, I call him Harry Barry Larry, holy crow, holy crap, he spoiled the but Jesus out of me this year on Mother's Day, you would think, I'm his mom, <laughs> but I really appreciate him, he spoiled the crap out of me, he is, to me, the best man on earth, and my daughter, she got me some really lovely things, I had a blast for Mother's Day. I went to acupuncture. I had some issues with my back. It really helped me out. I had an absolute blast. But this video is going to be hella long. So I'm just going to get into the video and we're going to talk about things that I purchased for myself either on Mother's Day sale or things that I got as gifts. So to try to get out the non-fragrant stuff out of the way, I got this from my daughter this is a Michael Kors bag absolutely gorgeous gorgeous bag I love it I love this bag I love the color of it blue is my all-time favorite color and this color cobalt blue is just gorgeous this scarf didn't come with it I put it on because I think hello it matches perfectly FYI, if you like to dress your bags up with scarves, this scarf in particular is Robert, um, Roberta Cavalli, and this one around my neck is Vivian Westwood. I mean, you get the best, 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 best um, prices on silk scarf at Century 21. My daughter also got me this, Salvatore Ferragamo. Um, I think this is the order to Alex. I owned before the order perform. I ended up giving it to a co-worker of mine. Um, we're going to smell the order to Alex and see what it smells like. Very cute bottle, but I always like the Signorina bottles for Salvatore Fragamo. I really like that. I'm going to just spray here. I might eventually have to get some paper because... I'm going to run out of hands. Believe me. Funny enough, I prefer the toilet over the Eau de Parfum. That's strange because I usually like up for Eau de Parfum. I really do. If it has an option, I know sometimes scents can be different between Eau de Toilet and Eau de Parfum. But me, I know that the rule doesn't always apply. But general speaking, Eau de Parfum usually have like more oil to alcohol um, ratio than Eau de Toilet. And it just usually be more intense and stuff uh, more intense than the Eau de Toilet. The Eau de Toilet usually is a little bit more watered down for lack of a better word but i remember the order perform was just not it was just not i liked it but i knew a co-worker of mine would love it more because she loved floral scents but for some reason this is pretty as hell man this order toilet is this well my daughter got this for me honestly i saw it and i'm like okay this is the signorino original kind of had this before and uh and it's like worse because it's ordered to a let but now that i'm smelling it it's really pretty it is really 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 pretty it is floral but to me it's so strange because in the order perform 
all I smell was floral. All, all, all that's all I smell. And this one, it's a, it's a little sweet. That's so strange. I really like this. Thanks, Shaniqua. I really love my gifts. I appreciate it. Holy moly, Pajoli. Harry Barry Larry killed me this year with the fragrances. He went ham with the fragrances, and I'm so excited, guys. First fragrance he got me, I actually wanted. This was the Prada Gan the Prada Candy Gloss. Backstory to this, we went to um, Woodbury Common. That's a outlet mall, upstate New York, and I saw this in Saks or Fifth and. I didn't really like the original product candy. It wasn't for me. I like this maybe because it has orange blossom in this one. I like this fragrance a lot. The the product candy gloss. Inside looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packaging. I end up purchasing. Um, he ordered something for me and he said it didn't come. So he told me to pick up the the one from Saxo Fifth because I was I really liked it. I keep going back to it, keep going back to it, and um, I purchased it at Saxo Fifth for I believe seventy four dollars and ninety nine cents. And you know me, I'm as much as I'm a shopper junkie. I like things on a budget, and I will lose sleep. And when I say lose sleep, I mean I will lose sleep. If I know I could get something for cheaper and I spend twenty dollars more than the original price, if it's a dollar or two dollars or three dollars, I won't I won't lose any sleep over it. But if it's like twenty dollars difference, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. One hundred percent, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. And so when I got into the car, I actually you know mindset to check it out online. And the first place I actually checked when I was looking was uh, FragranceNet.com and the price range to this was pretty okay so I decided to get this. And then I saw Century 21 had this for $59.99. I'm like, oh hell no, I am not keeping this. Even if it says as a gift, I will not allow somebody to pay more money if I know I could get it somewhere else. So luckily there's a sex office near my house. I returned the other one there and then we went to Century 21 and picked this up. The another one Harry Barry Larry got for me was uh, the Prada La Femme. These are my very two uh, first Prada um, fragrances. Century 21, the beautiful thing about that place is they usually have. Um, tester so you could test fragrance out and I smelled this and I really liked it and for the price that it had it was $79.99 you know I was hesitant to get it but Harry told me to get it and luckily I did because when we went back a couple of days later it was all sold out the product product candy gloss and this was sold out leaving behind the product candy kiss and the original product candy so i was glad to pick this up and i think I, uh, we picked this up for 79.99 for this set and it doesn't stop there guys it does not stop there harry bar larry also got me this from national wholesale liquidators now i had to hit up national wholesale liquidators because i know like mother's day and um, like Valentine's Day and Christmas they usually have percentage of their fragrances and I've been eyeing this fragrance and I you at original price at, um, at uh, National Wholesale Liquidators is $40 and that's just too much for me and I know I could get it cheaper at fragrancenet.com and I'm always eyeing it to see if I could see this one Juicy Couture Hollywood Royal to see if I could see this particular one in TJ Maxx and Marshall, I never do. So I had it in my head to get it um, for Mother's Day sale because the bottle is just beautiful, beautiful. And this is this is a fragrance that's right up my tree, guys. This is a white floral fragrance, right, right up my tree. I absolutely adore this fragrance. I'm so pissed that I didn't pick up like two bottles of this because we went the Monday after Mother's Day and the sale was no more. Those were the three fragrances that he got me because he said whatever fragrance he was ordering didn't came and so he got me those in replacement. But today he ended up surprising me with the fragrance that he, want, he wanted to get because 
he watches my videos as well and he he saw that i was talking about this fragrance this is the viva la juicy sucre i will not be opening this fragrance i will not be opening it because i have an, another bottle of this let me run and get a bottle so you can see how it looks this is what it looks like yeah in that video i had said that i really love this fragrance but it's hard to find it's sold out on fragrancenet.com i never see it in the store not even for full price at macy's I see this fragrance so I was very scared to use it I use it very sparsely and because of that he said he's gonna buy he got me he got me the other bottle so I could get to enjoy this bottle he got me this bottle <laughs> so another Mother's Day gift that I got was from Fiona at work this is the everyday aromatherapy body oil collection from moonlight beach body beach bath um, company it has like lemongrass, lavender, Oregon, words that I cannot pronounce in coconut. <laughs> I really appreciate this. Thank you so much, Fiona. We're like bench in Jamaica wouldn't say bench and batty. We're like bench and batty at work. She's like truly, truly, truly the best co-worker you can have. Had, when I tell you I had the best Mother's Day, I mean I had the best Mother's Day. Even when it comes on to gifts to give myself because I was just finding the clearances and the best things everywhere. So, starting with Burlington. I really I really like the fancy, um, fancy girl. So I decided to pick up the fancy and try. This is a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more fru fruitier more in the lines of like viva la juicy fragrances yeah i like it i like sweet fragrances next thing i got from burlington was this is a christian seriano silhouette in bloom so we're gonna like test it together and see what i think of this fragrance so here's the bottle pretty bottle That's strange. You know what it smells like? I wonder. It smells like um, some type of Escada perfume. Like light and fresh and pretty. I wonder if it has like what kind of fruits it has inside here. Um, it's, it's, a little, it's a little fruity. Um, first impression, my honest first impression is... It's nice, but it's more likely going to be like a work fragrance because I'm not like running to the moons about it. But for the price, $20, I was like interested to try. So that's that. Also from Burlington was these two. Actually, this is always Red Femme. By Elizabeth Orden, we know that I fell in love with the Elizabeth Orden always friend, and I saw this it was absolutely beat up, but it was like seventeen ninety nine for this. This is Ed Hardy, um, poor femme. It's just Ed Hardy, poor femme. So I was interested to try this. This one, a subscriber told me about after the always red. They say you should check out the Always Red Fem. I think this is a very good scent as well, guys. I'm surprised. I need to check out more fragrances from Elizabeth Orden because I'm really feeling and and I tried and I had to pick that up. At Elizabeth Orden Fifth Avenue and thought that fragrance smelled fantastic. I just did a tester in a uh, Century 21, so I'm gonna be picking up more fragrances from this. I don't uh, from Elizabeth Orden. Because before, only the only thing I owned was the green teas. And this, I'm not going to open it right now because it looks like it's a hassle to open. But I'm going to definitely test it out and tell you guys what I think. I was eyeing the bitch out of this fragrance. This is Itro um, Pegaso. I was eyeing this crap because it was originally... I'm going to tell you right now what it was originally. $16.99 I 
$69.99 at uh, TJ Maxx. And I've been eyeing it, eyeing it, and it went down to $49.99. I thought that's a good price, you know, comparing to all the prices everywhere else. It has mixed reviews on Fra uh, Fragrantica, but I figure... I'm going to try and see what I think. Bottle is actually really, really pretty. I like, sometimes I like simplicity like this. Packaging is gorgeous. It's very fresh. I mean, I think this market that to women, because some of Pegasus, Pegasus, on fragrances I see is unisex. I think this one's market towards I don't know, maybe it's market towards unisex. It smells very unisex. Like the opening is like it's just very fresh, very clean. It's a nice scent. I love fresh scents, really do. Especially when the weather gets super hot. I cannot deal with sweet sweetie fruity fragrances not when it's when it's hot i need something that reminds me of like trees blowing in the wind or sea breeze or i will do more tests on that and tell you what i think now with tj maxx i also found this at tj maxx walking air i've been watching this for the whole mother's day honestly they have this metallic looking box and then they have the white box with like green things around it walking air and believe it or not, I actually saw the bottle by itself on sale for $40. Picked it up at Marshall, then went to TJ Maxx and saw the entire gift set. And just returned the, the other one and get this. Because I think this is a much ba better bag for your buck for $40. Absolute steal. This looks like a pain in the butt to pull apart right now to try but I will definitely test it out and tell you guys what I think the next fragrance um, I see all the time I actually saw Shauna J with the same Paul Sebastian fragrance her she said she liked the design I was actually looking for the design to see if I would like it because I too like fragrances that smells a little bit more um, mature not grandma stink but i love like i man hands down bar none absolutely in love with the jessica mcclintock um fragrance i saw this one casual from paul sebastian and people compare it to the jessica mcclintock so i said i had to try they said oh yes Oh, yes! Get out of town. Yes! It smells so much like the uh, Jessica McClickton. And not that Ellen Tracy stuff. Not that. That Ellen Tracy stuff was trying to be the Jessica McClickton and fell flat on his ass. I'm sorry. People like that fragrance. I do not like that fragrance. But damn, damn, damn. For ten dollars, guys. Don't ask me what's the lasting power. I have to test it out and see. But this smell freaking good. This smell. This is. This is up my alley. This smells so damn good. Oh Lord. If you see this for ten dollars, you like the modern dress or you like the Justin McClintock. Check this because this is cheaper than the Jessica McClintock. Jessica McClintock. Jessica McClintock. If you see that TJ Maxx and Marshall for three or three point ounce bottle, that is going to be like twenty nine dollars. If you buy it online, it's going to be twenty dollars. But this biatch is twelve ninety nine, regular price, and I got this at clearance for ten dollars, and it smells. Whew. Mm mm mm. I'm in heaven. So, we got more to go through. Okay, this is all I have left. From Marshalls, I picked up, Miss Shay Love was telling, uh, she, she sent me a picture of it that she saw it in Marshalls. And I was like, what? 
she gets me so jealous so 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 jealous when she sends me photos of fragrances that she sees in TJ Maxx and Marshall that for the life of me I can never find like her TJ Maxx and Marshall has the best range of fragrances it's insane so when she showed me that I'm like you gotta be kidding me her, her TJ Maxx has girl on are you kidding me right now and I was so surprised when I went to go return the walk-in air the I saw this and I'm like I only have to basically put ten dollars because I already had spent forty dollars so fifty dollars for this 3.3 ounce for a girl on pa um, Paris La Petite Robe Nior I believe um, this is my first from the black dress thing this is my first one I'm, I'm thinking to get more more from that section of girl on but for fifty dollars i thought this was a steal because i think on fragrance.com for the 3.3 ounces i think sixty dollars so man balu as we know is gorgeous i don't have nothing else to spray what can i spray We're going to get ghetto up in here because I'm about to rip some papers just to spray. Um, I saw on Fragrantica that they compared this to the Little Lampica, the apple green one like i can see the essence of similarity but when i say that this is done way 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 better than the lalita lampica i mean i could not understand why people like that fragrance the lalita lampica it was just like oh, i don't understand it but I could see the similarity between it and Lilita Lampica, but I am in love with this, guys. I am in love with this. I don't know if I'm biased because I am a girl on lover, but Jesus H. Christ, this smells good. Also from Marshalls, I picked up the 212 VIP from um, Carolina Herrera. This was $40. Um... This is my first 2 and 2 Car Carolina Herrera. This is my first Carolina Herrera anything, okay? Bottle, you know, I got it merely for the bottle. You know me and go packaging. Let me see what I think about the scent. The scent have a uh, from very familiar... Comment down below what does 212 VIP smells like. It smells like something I've smelled before. It's very sparkly, like like bubbly, like champagne or something. And it also heavy, 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 heavy in the uh, vanilla and tonka bean. It's a beautiful fragrance. I'm not like jumping over the moon about it. Like how the who the girl on captured my heart. This is not capturing my heart, but I will keep it. I like it. Next up from uh, Marshalls, or these these are my first ever Derek Lamb fragrances. Like I see people have love hate relationships with these fragrances but I got them both on clearance for $20 this is the high five and this is the afloat um, to be honest I wanted to just buy them to try because I'm like underwhelmed by the notes they have like very basic with the notes but so this is the high five Okay, bottle is interesting. Okay, what am I going to spray this on now? You 
know what? I like this. High five. I like this. This is like fresh laundry. It's clean and pretty and girly and easy. But this is not like a fragrance that you, you, you're not really a fan of. So you just part it for work. Because some fragrances, if I'm not really like a major fan of it, I'll just say, okay, I'll wear it at work because I don't care. But this one is like... If I want to feel pretty at work or I want to be, you know, complimented at work, I'll wear this. This is very pretty. I like this. I was like, mm. Especially when Chana J had made the review on some other one from Dara Clem and she was like, uh-uh, she's not feeling it. I was like, mmm. But I like this one. High five. I give you a high five. Next up is a float. Let's check this out. Don't do that. Don't don't do don't do what I just do. This is like in places where that was just like totally gross of me. Look like a capsule ride or something that belongs in a science lab. I'm not mad at this either. I'm not mad at this either. This is like an orangey. This is like up my up my stream of like neroli type smells, green. It it's too, it, it has like laundry smell behind it. Some people don't like, some people don't like laundry smelling fragrance, but I do. And this is this is also very pretty. You know what? This fragrance seem like it would keep me in a very calm, placid peaceful mood even to go to bed in that's strange if you're a fragrance lover then you know you have a fragrance for everything because you need to give yourself excuses as to why you need to own so much fragrances and so for me i have fragrances to go to sleep in fragrances to wake up in fragrances after the shower fragrances for work fragrances for the park fragrances for the movies fragrances for you know i make fragrances for everything and i think this would be an excellent fragrance to go to my bed in like i smell it and I think I'll, it will put me in a very calm, happy mood. And I told you, I told you I have a very bad habit. If I own a fragrance that smell like something else, I need to own the something else. And I picked this up at um, Walgreens. It had the 20% off. So this was originally $80, the 20% off, make it down to $60, plus I had Walgreens money, so it brought it down to like 50 something dollars. And this is the Black Opium by YSL. I bought the 1.6 ounce because, do you see how many fragrances I own right here? It was just, it was too much. Too much. I had to like try to save some money somewhere. I only had before um, test this out in stores. I never owned a bottle of it. And this reminds me of, um, I told you the Sofia Vergara Love remind me of this. Now, I actually opened this up and tested it. The Sofia Vergara does remind me of this, but holy cow, guys. This, this. I am sorry to say it's so much better like I could see like the Sofia Vergara love is a beautiful fragrance I do love it and for the price you do get something if you want this and can't afford this and want something similar to it you do get you know when you you you, you have something to quench your thirst or to you know calm your hunger but to own it it's like I don't want to be disrespectful, but how can I say it? I never owned a Chanel bag before. Just saying. But you know you have the Chanel flat bag and you have the um, Rebecca Minkoff that does have her own style that has a similarity to the Chanel flat bag. And so you might enjoy your Rebecca Minkoff handbag 
and feel like it soothed your need for that design or for have something that it would be a designer handbag. But I don't think it's going to be compared to owning a Chanel handbag. And this is the comparison that I can give between the Love by Sofia Vergara and this. I feel like you own the love, you enjoy, and it soothes that need. But I don't think anything compared to actually owning black opium. And that's the, that's a wrap, guys. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. That's it. That's all the perfumes that I've got in the weeks before and a couple days after Mother's Day. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. All the new subscribers. Hello. All the people that comment. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.